the frequency range, frequency response of headphone and earphone specification can be confusive. They are speakers, and for high fidelity equipment, this kind of data somehow important but hard to understand. Actually, this kind of frequency range and response curves and specifications from the manufacturer is of a computer, generated by computer and for computer, not for human beings. So we are going to dig into other things that human homo sapien can understand it. First, audible frequency. As human beings, we can listen to and accept frequency range is 20 to 20 kilohertz. Let's start at about 600 kilohertz. 600 hertz, sorry. It's kind of about uh, normal female's voice and uh, decrease. 300 is kind of a low pitch. 150. This is 75. 75 is breaking the vibration film, it can shake the diaphragm from the speaker off. Okay, we go down to about 40. It's double the low limit. We can hear it. It's 40 hertz. Then we go to the low limit for common human beings. Still, something from the speaker, we can hear it, I can hear it, it's very low volume, kind of background noise, I'm not sure it's 20 hertz of background noise. Double it to 320. Over 600. 1200 is 1 over 1 kilohertz, 2500 hertz, it's high pitch, and uh, this is 5 kilohertz, 10 kilohertz, the volume is, the volume become very low, but I didn't turn down the volume and return and to the high end of human audible sound. It do have sound come from the speaker, but I'm not sure it's 20 kilohertz. It's kind of noise, or background electric magnetic signals. So this is human audible frequency range from 20 to 20 kilohertz for a common human being, homo sapiens, such as you and me. But some headphone, their manufacturer make the range wider. We already checked the human audible frequency range from the 20 to 20 kilohertz. If we look inside a speaker, basically there are two kinds of speakers. All the headphones or earphones, they will have a speaker, large or small, big or small, inside there. Work as a sound unit to produce sound. But uh, the sound unit actually have two kinds of sound unit. One is balanced armature. This is a little bit advanced sound unit. The old sound unit would be traditional speaker. 
it's this kind of cone shaped diaphragm uh, push the vibrate together with the with the voice call it can calmly its cone shape somehow it can be look as a bow as its diaphragm then it pushed by inside the speaker it pushed by the voice call it's a metal call it has a permanent magnet the call pushed by the magnet when signal applied and the diaphragm vibrate together with the call so they input and output input from the pins applied to the voice call and voice call connected together with the diaphragm the diaphragm and the call they vibrate together <coughs> they vibrate together so the input and output is connected together uh, in engineering we call it uh, coupled input and output but the balanced amateur works differently uh, the balanced amateur is a uh, commonly metal bar float in between the coil so it has no physical connections to the input coil the output and input is decoupled mm, this gave it a very fast frequency response and the result is accurate and clear voice sound and it can be built very small put inside the human ear ear canal the diaphragm get drive by the balanced armature this is a little bit uh, advanced uh, structure actually the cheapest uh, balanced armature earphone is from Apple Apple has a kind of has a model of earphone with the double balanced armature sound unit it's actually cheapest this is the small unit uh, used for earphone if we break an earphone up inside it we can find the small unit of this should be dynamic drive the speaker so this is a diaphragm of speakers basically can we think it responds only between 20 to 20 kilohertz no there's no way it uh, can perform only inside the 20 to 20 kilohertz it's driven by electric magnetic force so it responds freely naturally by its physical structure and the material to the input signal but headphone manufacturer still list the frequency response between 5 hertz this is a biodynamic headphone the date is from 5 hertz to 30 kilohertz and another one from at least as 16 to 22 kilohertz this is from Sennheiser HD25, a famous headphone. So, after we check the, the human audible frequency range and the structure of the speaker still we cannot understand what lists on the manufacturer's specific specification data sheet we still can 
understand it. Maybe it's a kind of audible frequency response of those earphones and uh, headphones. What we can understand is their structure, their principle of working, and things like that. By the way, there is kind of for real transform. It means it means to produce a simple waveform. It actually the time domain function of the vibration actually transformed to a frequency domain function add up to the final waveform. This guy Dario Mario has explained the Fourier transform of uh, to 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 become to get a rectangular pulse. It actually need endless from the minus infinite to the plus infinite waves, sinusoid waves, to get the final rectangular pulse. So, from the principle of Fourier transform, we know that. The audible voice is actually contain millions sinusoid curves add up together to become the final natural in real world sound. So the speaker's design it works this way because it's electric magnetic field driven. Balanced armature of the voice call, so it actually respond to the more wider frequency beyond the human audible voice, and the result what we can recognize is still between twenty to twenty kilohertz. This is what we can understand. What I can understand from. For two type of speakers, balanced armature and dynamic driven speakers. By the way, but dynamic driven speakers actually, the industry has built this kind of speakers for around a century. So the cost of it is actually very low. And in China, I found a lot of earphones at the price range about a dollar. One U.S. dollar piece. So, if you are interested、uh, about this kind of earphones, I can actually supply them in tons, in quantities. One dollar a piece, supplied by kilograms and tons. If you are interested, leave me a message. Okay, this is some facts about the speakers, earphones, headphones. High fidelity, high fidelity equipment. The principle behind their performance. Hope this information is helpful. Thank you. Thanks for your time and watching. Thank you. Bye bye.